Welcome to channel don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon. The world of hacking, a glimpse behind the curtain. Hacking. It's a word loaded with intrigue, danger, and a touch of Hollywood glamour. But behind the hype lies a complex world of technology, vulnerability, and the constant battle between security and exploitation. Hackers are the skilled attackers trying to breach defenses, exploiting weaknesses to gain access to valuable data. Our journey begins with understanding the tools of their trade, starting with Kali Linux, a powerful operating system designed for ethical hacking and penetration testing. Kali Linux is a Debian-based operating system designed specifically for penetration testing and ethical hacking. It's a powerful toolkit that comes pre-installed with a wide range of tools, saving you the time and effort of setting up a hacking environment from scratch. Think of it as a specialized workshop for cybersecurity professionals and ethical hackers, equipped with everything they need to assess and improve the security of computer systems. One of the key advantages of Kali Linux is its versatility. It can be run as a live operating system from a USB drive or DVD, making it incredibly portable. This portability makes it an invaluable tool for security audits, incident response, and penetration testing engagements. Whether you're interested in network scanning, web application testing, or password cracking, Kali Linux has you covered. Its user-friendly interface and extensive documentation make it accessible to both beginners and experienced security professionals. Always ensure you have proper authorization before using any hacking tools on systems or networks that you do not own. Hashing Passwords Invisibility Cloak Imagine a magic trick where you write down a secret word on a piece of paper, and, with a wave of the hand, it transforms into a jumbled mess of letters and numbers. That's essentially what hashing does to your passwords. This process is crucial for protecting your passwords because, even if hackers get their hands on the hashed version, it's extremely difficult to retrieve the original password. Suppose your password is password123, not recommended. When you enter it on a website or application, a hashing algorithm takes that simple phrase and scrambles it into something like a 5C69454654645424. C3C4BC2B2F2F0C4. This gibberish is what's actually stored in the database, not your original password. Hackers use sophisticated tools and techniques to crack these hashes, especially if the passwords are weak or commonly used. This is why it's crucial to use strong and unique passwords for each of your online accounts. Hashcat, the password cracking beast. Enter Hashcat, the undisputed king of password cracking tools. It's a powerful, open source software designed to recover passwords by attempting to reverse the hashing process. Hashcat leverages the power of your computer's graphics processing unit, GPU, to perform brute force attacks, trying billions, even trillions of password combinations per second. This makes it significantly faster than traditional CPU-based cracking tools. Hashcat supports a wide range of hashing algorithms, making it versatile enough to crack passwords from various sources, including operating systems, databases, and websites. It also offers a variety of attack modes, allowing users to fine-tune their approach based on the target and the available information. However, it's crucial to remember that Hashcat is a powerful tool that should be used responsibly and ethically. Always ensure you have the legal right to perform any password cracking activities and use this knowledge for good, not for malicious purposes. Setting the Stage Kali Linux and Hashcat Installation before we embark on our password cracking journey, we need to set the stage. This involves having Kali Linux up and running on your system. As we discussed earlier, Kali Linux can be run as a live operating system from a USB drive or DVD, or you can install it directly on your computer. Once you have Kali Linux up and running, the good news is that Hashcat usually comes pre-installed. You can verify this by opening a terminal window and typing. If Hashcat is installed, you'll see its version information displayed. With both Kali Linux and Hashcat ready to go, it's time to gather our target, the password hash we want to crack. Remember, ethical hacking is all about simulating real-world scenarios to identify and fix weaknesses, so always ensure you have proper authorization before attempting to obtain any password hashes. Step 1. Acquiring the target. Obtaining the hash. In the world of ethical hacking, information is key. Before we can even think about cracking a password, we need to obtain its hash. There are several ways to obtain a password hash, each with its own set of ethical considerations and legal boundaries. One common method is through network sniffing. 
This involves capturing and analyzing network traffic to intercept sensitive information like usernames and passwords. Tools like Wireshark, which comes pre-installed on Kaylee Linux, allow us to capture packets of data traveling across a network and analyze their contents. Another way to obtain password hashes is by exploiting vulnerabilities in web applications or systems. Once you have obtained the password hash, you'll need to save it to a file. This file will serve as the input for Hashcat, our password cracking powerhouse. Step 2. Choosing your weapon, selecting the right attack. Now that we have our target, the password hash, it's time to choose our weapon, the attack method. Hashcat offers a variety of attack modes, each with its own strengths and weaknesses. One of the most common attack modes is the dictionary attack. This involves using a pre-compiled list of words, phrases, and common passwords, and trying each one against the hash. If the dictionary attack fails, we can step up our game with a brute force attack. This method involves trying every possible combination of characters until the correct password is found. For a more targeted approach, we can use a rule-based attack. This method involves defining a set of rules that modify or combine words from a dictionary. Step 3. Unleashing Hashcat. Cracking the password. With our target in sight and our weapon of choice selected, it's time for the main event. Unleashing Hashcat to crack the password. Hashcat is a command line tool, so we'll be typing commands into the terminal window in Kali Linux. The basic syntax for running Hashcat is as follows, Hashcat MAO. For example, to run a dictionary attack against an MD5 hash stored in a file called hashes.txt using a word list called rockyou.txt. The command would be Hashcat M0, A0, O cracked, txt hashes, xt rockyou.txt. Once you execute the command, Hashcat will spring to life, tirelessly working through the word list or trying different password combinations based on the selected attack mode. The time it takes to crack the password depends on various factors, including the complexity of the password, the speed of your computer's GPU, and the effectiveness of the chosen attack method. If Hashcat successfully cracks the password, you'll see a message indicating recovered, followed by the cracked password in the terminal window. The cracked password will also be saved to the output file you specified in the command. Decrypting the results, unveiling the password. As Hashcat diligently chips away at the password hash, you'll see various statistics displayed in the terminal window, including the current cracking speed, the number of passwords tried, and the estimated time remaining. If the password is particularly strong or the chosen attack method is not effective, Hashcat might not be able to crack it within a reasonable time frame. In such cases, you might need to consider using a different attack mode, a more comprehensive word list, or more powerful hardware. Congratulations! You've successfully reversed the hashing process and unveiled the secret hidden behind the cryptic hash. The Ethical Hacker, a force for good, as we delve deeper into the world of hacking and password cracking, it's crucial to remember that these skills are not inherently good or evil. Ethical hackers, also known as white hat hackers, use their knowledge to strengthen security, not exploit it. They help organizations identify and fix vulnerabilities before malicious actors can exploit them. They conduct penetration tests, simulating real-world attacks to assess the effectiveness of security measures. They educate and train others on cybersecurity best practices, empowering individuals and organizations to protect themselves from cyber threats. Ethical hackers always obtain explicit permission from the system or network owner before conducting any security assessments. By understanding the techniques used by malicious hackers, ethical hackers can stay one step ahead, proactively identifying and mitigating vulnerabilities before they can be exploited. They are the guardians of the digital realm, using their skills for good, to make the internet a safer place for everyone.